Hey, hey you guys, Christina. I hope you guys have been loving beta. We are about halfway through. It's a lot of work. So today I thought I'd kind of show you a little bit of what we are doing for Easter, because Easter's coming up this Sunday. I have no idea how beauty bloggers <laughs> do this beauty stuff on camera. So I have to pull out all of the Easter crafts and the Easter decorations, which isn't very much, and um, get started with some Easter activities. So my hope is that this will inspire you guys to do some activities and maybe give you some ideas too. Okay, so small update on the channel. If you haven't subscribed, you definitely should because I'm almost to the goal. So my goal is to hit 10,000. Last time I looked, I'm at 9,800. So I'm so close, 200 more. Please subscribe. Thank you for all of you guys who have shared my channel with people who you think that would really, really enjoy it. Keep on doing it. I, I can't do this without you guys. This is the reason why it's working is because you guys are sharing my channel with everyone. So almost to 10,000 and then we can have a meetup. Okay, so let's do it. So we'll start off activities with our ceramic painting. So these all came from Dollar Tree. You guys know that I love these. We get them for every season. They are fabulous little activities to do. I like to use my little trays. Everyone always asks me on Instagram where I get these trays. They're from Michael's and if you use a coupon, they're a really good price. So I highly recommend these if you want to keep a mess contained. But anyway, so each daughter will get one egg and one bunny. I think we did the bunny last year too. And then we'll get to painting. So while the girls are inside doing that, I'm coming out to the garage. I'm not really scared to open this cabinet because <laughs> I'm looking for Easter stuff. So this is where I kind of stuff haphazardly <laughs> all of our seasonal things. And I think I found exactly what I'm looking for. This is a vintage Easter basket from the 90s. <laughs> and I got various other Easter baskets. So I'm gonna bring all this stuff out so we can um, put it out this week. So here's my stash and I've got a lot of Easter baskets. Kinda collected them over the years. Window cleans, which need to go up. Oh, these are secret. I need to put these away. And then of course we got all of our eggs and then eggs in here that we used to use for some activities. And the girls will probably play with that right away and then some Easter books. So I usually, a little tip is to avoid clutter on our bookshelves. I'll put all the seasonal books with the holiday stuff and only bring them out during the holidays. This one's a really good one, the Easter egg hunters. Um, you go through it and you find the eggs within the book. It's pretty good. I'm making the trays so we can decorate our eggs and our bunnies. I saw them once. They came from Dollar Tree, obviously. But this is like my standard way of doing it. So I have these trays that I'll put all of their embellishments in. So far I've put these little jewels that came from Dollar Tree too. I'm gonna put some sequins in there and then probably some eyes. And we are finished. They did a lot of bunnies. Here, check this out. And Easter eggs, all decorated. And so I was thinking that I could hang a string up here on my banister and clip them with some clothespins.
Thanks for doing some Easter crafts with us today. I will be back tomorrow with another video for Veda. Don't forget to subscribe to see more videos like this. Share it with your friends. Tell them about the purple alphabet. And make sure to give me a thumbs up to show your love. Bye.